Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the JavaFX tutorial series. This time I'm going to teach you how to make your very own JavaFX application, okay? How to make, you know, JavaFX application classes. So that's what I'll be showing you today. Um, so we're going to create a new project here because we're going to make a new JavaFX application. We're going to start from, we're going to start fresh because it's good to get that repetition down so you know what to do every time to make a new uh, JavaFX application. So what we want to do here is call it let's call it something like let's do a uh, java fx application okay and that's going to create a new java fx application for us and um so we can uh, open this up here see what we got same thing as last time as you can see here and um so we're going to go into our project structure here and add the you know the library for java fx so that we can use it and stuff like that um, so source. Uh, oh wait, wrong place. Go here. Find just find where you put it. Of course, make sure you watch last episode if you haven't already. Um, so lib, and then there we go. And now we add it to the project here. So apply, and then just give me a second. I'm gonna add the configuration. All right, so I added all the stuff, all the configuration options, and everything like that, like we did last episode. So I'm gonna run this to see if it works. First of all, before we do anything else. Okay, it's building, parsing, running, finishing, and boom. Now we get our first little application here. You know, it's a quick little sample that it lets us have a template. So what we're going to do here is delete everything because we want to start fresh. I'm going to show you how to start from the ground up, how to make an application rather than, you know, copy someone else's code like it's doing right here. So just delete this. Um, we probably don't even need this. So let's delete it. Boom, there we go. So we can delete this package too. Just start completely fresh in the source folder. So the first thing I'm going to do here is create a new Java class. It's going to be our main class here. So it's going to hold our um, public static main args. Public static main. There we go. Oops. And of course, main, what we're going to have inside of here, just to test it out, we'll say hello. Okay, run this. So we get a little problem here. It says cannot find or load main class sample.main, and that's because we just deleted the sample package. So it still thinks that the main uh, the main method is inside of the sample package. So we need to go here to our configuration, edit it, and then just change this, get rid of the sample package, and then there we go. So this is basically just showing our um, IDE where to find the main method. So it's going to be within the main class. Okay. So there we go. Apply. Now we can run this, and then we get hello. So that works perfectly. So now let's say we want to make a JavaFX application. Let's say we want to make a GUI of some sort. Okay, so we can do that by just making a new class and extending the application class from JavaFX. So there's two ways to do that. We can put it inside of here if we want to. We can just use the main class to make our new application, or we can just pretty much make a totally new class that's going to represent our JavaFX application. In my opinion, that's a better option because it's more structured that way. So we can go ahead and make a new class here. We're going to call it uh, JavaFX. Now we're going to call it my first application like that. Okay. So this is going to represent our first application. And like I said, it has to extend the application class and make sure you import the correct one. Make sure you import the one from JavaFX. There we go. So now we imported that, but we still have an error here because we need to implement an a abstract method here. So we can just do public and just uh, public and then oops. And there's look down here and there's a method here called start. So we can just double click this if you want to or type it out, whatever you want to do. And then there we go. So we've implemented this method here and inside of here we can put the code for our application. Okay, so the first thing we can see here is that it has, you know, the method. It's a basic void method here, but and more importantly, there's a parameter here. It's the stage. So this is going to be the stage um, that is created whenever the program starts. Whenever the application starts, this stage is going to be created. And if you don't know, a stage is a window. Every window that we create for the GUI is a stage. Okay, that's just another name for it. Um, so this is going to be the stage that is created when the application starts. And of course, this is the start method. So this is going to be the method that starts or the method that runs whenever this application, this class here runs itself. Okay. So we'll get a better example of that in a second. 
But first, let's add some code here. So what it's doing here, as soon as we run this method, it's going to create a new stage for us to use. So we don't have to create it manually by doing something like this. Stage, stage 2 is equal to new stage. We don't have to create an actual instance of it. It's doing it for us. So we can simply do stage dot and then we can you know change some properties of the window of course changes for a window like I said so we can give the window a title we can say hello world okay something like that and if you're and don't worry about that we're going to be learning about the methods that we can work with and stages and stuff like that next episode that's when we're going to work with the stages okay so don't worry about that so one more thing before we run the program for a window to actually show up for a stage to show up on the screen when we run the program we have to do stage dot show Otherwise, it's just going to be invisible pretty much, and the window's not going to pop up, okay? So now if we want to run this, let's see what happens when we run this. Build. Boom. And nothing happens. It just has a blank output here because, of course, there's nothing in the main thing, the main uh, method here. So what we need to do here is run our application. And we can do that really simply just by doing application. Um, JavaFX application launch okay and this is going to be a static method that the application class offers so that you can run any application class for your you know your program okay so we can simply just for the first parameter just provide a application like we have here so we have this application class so all we got to do is do my first application dot class so we're just providing the class so it knows where to find it where to launch it and then after that we just put args so this is going to be the launch arguments if you know anything about that but you don't really have to worry about that for now, okay? So this is very simple. All it's doing is, you know, before you ran it, nothing happened. So this time it's actually going to do the launch method here, which is going to launch our application and hopefully open a window here that we named Hello World, okay? So let's try running this and see what happens. So boom, we get a window here. Pretty cool, right? So it says Hello World, which is exactly what we named it within the um, application class here that we made. So that's perfect. It named it perfectly. Um, so yeah, it also show we have to use show or this wouldn't have popped up in the first place. So pretty simple and then we can close this and as soon as we close it the application finishes or the program finishes I mean. So pretty cool, it's all very smooth. And so that's a very simple way to make a application, how to make a Java how to make a Java FX application. All you gotta do is make a, a new class that extends the application class and then it has to of course implement the start method because it's abstract, okay? So it's a very simple process, I know. But um, there's two other methods that we can use, um, we can override within this application class here. So the first one is going to be called the init method. So it stands for initialization, of course. So we can do public void init and just tab it to autocomplete. And so inside of here, we can put any code that we want to put. So I'm going to just put output statement and it says before. So what this is for, this is going to be the method that is run before the start method runs, before the application even starts. This method here is going to run, and then whatever code is inside that method obviously is going to run, okay? So this might be useful for loading pictures or loading assets or resources, anything like that, before the, the window actually loads itself, okay? So this is going to be useful for loading or whatever else needs to happen behind the scenes before the application launches. So this is one method that you can do. So we can run this and let's see what happens. So as you can see here, this opens here, and then now this says before. So this, so pretty simple. So we can go ahead and close this here. So there's another one we can do. Um, by the way, this is optional. Of course, this one we had to do. We had to implement this, or we got the error in the first place. But this one, of course, is um, is optional. Okay, it's not abstract. I don't believe, is it? but we can override it. Okay. So there's another one we can actually do, which is going to be the opposite of the initialization method. It's going to be the stop method. So public void stop. So this is going to be, I'm sure you can guess, it's going to be the method that is run after the application is stopped, okay? So this one runs before it starts, and this one's going to run after this one is run. So it's going to be in order, basically. This runs first, and then after this one's done, this one's going to run, and then after this one's done, this one's going to run, okay? Very uh, structured here. So what we're going to do here is put after, so this is how we're going to know that it's done running, basically, our application is done running. So we can run this and let's see what happens. So right off the bat, it prints out before, like it did before, and then the application window opens, right? But nothing else happens inside the console. It doesn't actually print out after, like we told it to, right? And that's because, I told you, this method does not run until the application is done running. It's the stop method, right? So when we stop the application, then it's going to run, and then it says after, just like it did right there, okay? So that's a very simple, but that's how that works. So those are the three methods that you can use whenever you're working with the application class whenever you're extending the class to make your own JavaFX application. So I hope you, hope you like that. So one more thing I want to show you before we go is like I said before, you can just simply extend the main method here or the main class 
Um, this is like a you know a more simple way to do it. So we can extend application here instead of making a whole class like we did a second ago. So we can just pretty much um, copy this if we want to. Control X, I mean to cut it. Then we can just go here if we want and just uh, well we're not going to put it inside of the main method. We're going to put it outside of here. So this is all going to be the code that goes in there. And then after that, we can use the main method to launch our program. And instead of typing all this, we can simply type launch by itself because it knows that, um, well, the main method is part of this application now. This has become an application because we're extending application. So yeah, it knows that um, it's part of it. So we can simply type launch instead of application.launch, right? So hopefully that makes sense. So we can run this and it's going to do the same exact thing except that, oh, we have a problem here because let's just delete this pretty much. So delete. And then yeah, let's run this. Then the same thing is going to do, and the same thing is going to happen as last time because of course we're doing the same thing. We're just making a simple JavaFX application, except this time we're just extending the main class and um, pretty much having the main method within that main class. So it's all together pretty much. But more realistically, you're going to want to have everything in different classes, you know, to provide some structure and stuff like that. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense for you. So that's pretty much it. That's how you make a JavaFX application with the application class. If you have any questions about what I showed you today, you can ask me in the comment section below, or you can join our Discord and ask questions there. We have a lot of people who can help you. So the Discord link is in the description for you if you want to check that out and join it. Also, all the code from today's episode is going to be in the description below, so make sure you click that. It's going to take you to a repository, so you can bookmark that for future use in case you forget how to do any of this. So just make sure you do that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. Um, next episode, like I said, we're going to be going over the stages, which is basically... Um, more info on how to make windows okay we're gonna be able to make more windows we can make multiple windows if we want to and then we can customize the windows um, with methods and stuff like that so hopefully you like that hopefully you're excited for that so stay tuned so if you like this video leave a like if you need to see more subscribe and peace